and I'm just about back on trail. It's been about six days since I last recorded. Um, yep, went and saw my sister and then flew back into Portland and then took a train and a bus to Cascade Locks and then got a ride or four to Trout Lake. So I finally made it to Trout Lake. Now um, it's the next morning now and I'm just waiting for the store to open so that I can pick up my resupply package and get my ice axe because it should be here. So and then I'll finally be able to head up the mountain back to where I left off last year and fingers crossed hopefully actually finish the PCT. This is my last section. I've got like 454 miles to go. Well, it's a little bit less than that, but you do have to turn around and walk back to the nearest road after reaching the border. So, let's get started. Here's a quick little overview of Trout Lake. Uh, if you turn left on that street, uh, you can head towards the campground. Right behind the street sign is the post office. Uh, this white shed over here, there's a taco shop certain days of the week. And then there's the general store, and to the left there's like a little restaurant thing. Who knows when it opens, and that's about it for the whole town. <laughs> it was almost a year ago I sat over here on this road, waiting for a trail angel to come pick me up. And now I've made it back to the trail. I'm ready to get started. And look at this this spring. Like it's it's not a creek. There's definitely like nothing above it, but it is flowing like its own creek. I've never seen a spring flowing this fast and hard before. It's literally making its own creek below. First up on this leg of the trip is to go around the base of Mount Adams. There it is in the distance, so hopefully I'll get a better picture of it soon. All right, I've been hoping and waiting for this moment. See that mountain way in the background with the snow on it? It's Mount St. Helens! Woo! Oh boy, first patch of snow. It's not too bad, I'll be to still skirt that easily, but I know eventually it's gonna get worse. Okay, I don't think it's gonna show up on the camera very well, but straight ahead, right there is Mount St. Helens. Over there, straight ahead. Is Mount Hood, and then what I'm actually heading towards over there is Mount Adams. This is really cool. I can see three strato volcanoes, three strato volcanoes from the same point. So cool. Well, I'm a geologist, so I think it's really cool. Can you hear the frogs? <laughs> My goodness, there's a pond forming. Look how. Oh, my turquoise blue it's gonna be so exciting this is cool you can just the snow's just like melting and forming this little stream right under the ice all right i'm still going around mount adams it's behind this little jut i can still see mount st helens and now i can also see mount rainier uh, where is it on the camera right Right here. I've been going through snow. I mean, there have been patches of dry ground, but it's been mostly been snow for like an hour and a half now. And I know it's just gonna get worse tomorrow, but it's still tiring. All right, see that ahead, all that snow ahead? I believe that is Goat Rocks, Goat Rocks Wilderness. I'm pretty sure I'm going through there tomorrow. That's what I'm nervous for. There's supposed to be a whole lot more snow up there. So, fingers crossed for tomorrow. A little double waterfall. Oh, wait, can you see it? All 
Mount Adams, your snow is kicking my butt. Are you sure it's July? It doesn't feel like July. If this is Washington in July, remind me to never move to Washington. Woo. I have made it out of the snow. Occasionally there's little small patches, but that is the end of Mount Adams Wilderness. Currently at Lava Spring. That's what I just showed you. There's the spring coming straight out of the lava. Uh, I was thinking today was going to be the harder snow day. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to have snow at some point today, but the harder day is actually tomorrow. So, mm -hmm.